Hi, my name is Julieta Diaz and I am a data scientist at TIPCO. Welcome to this Teams Studio enablement video. In this video, I will cover the batch aggregation operator. We are starting from the Word Files tab in a workspace I've previously created and we will click on the aggregation workflow to get to the workflow canvas you can see here. To start, let's see what the Titanic dataset looks like. As you can see, we have some information on a passenger, a passenger ID, whether they survived the ship or not, what class they boarded, their name, their age, the number of siblings spouses abroad, the passenger fare, the port of embarkation, etc. I put the summary statistics operator here to show you that we have 263 missing values in the age feature. This represents 20% of the passengers, so we should consider a way to replace these new values. We can, for instance, assign them the mean age of the dataset. But the problem is, there were many people of different ages. We can't just assign a 5-year kid with a mean age of 29. Something we can do is check the name feature. As you can see, the names have a salutation like Mr, Mrs, Miss, etc. So, if we extract the initials from the name, we can then group the passengers by the salutation and use the mean age of the group to fill the new values in the age column. To do that, we will first drag into the canvas the variable operator to create a new column representing the initials of the passenger's name. Once we connect the variable operator to our dataset, we can edit the operator properties. If we click on define variable, a dialog will show up where we should specify the name of the new variable column, the data type and the expression to create it. We will call this variable title and this uh, yeah this will be a char and if you look at the name column the initials are always between a comma and a dot so the sql syntax we are going to enter is the regex extract so we want to extract from the name variable the string between the comma and the dot. And we want the second string. That's why I will add the integer to here. OK, so then we press OK. If you need more information about the SQL syntax and expressions, you can click on the question mark at the top of the box. This will open up a link with the documentation of the variable operator. And if you scroll down a little bit, you will find the configuration section, which contains a description of each one of the parameters. In particular, if you go to variables and click on this link here, you can see a table with a list of the Spark SQL syntax and expressions. The, exp the expression that we previously used is this one, and you can see a description of it along with an example that can help you to understand how to apply this syntax. Okay, one more thing we need to specify is the columns to include. In this case, I'm just going to select all of them. Once we have run the workflow, we can then click on the variable operator and see the new column title at the end of the table. And we can check that this is exactly what we wanted. Now that we have the title variable, we can do the aggregation to get the mean age. Essentially, we would like to aggregate the age grouping by title. We can do this by picking out 
the batch aggregation operator. And uh, once we drop it into the canvas, it's red, so it needs configuration. We need to first attach the variable operator to it, and then we edit the operator. Now, the first thing we are going to do is select the columns to aggregate. So we will click here and select the title. Here you can find the maximum, the minimum, calculate the sum, etc. But in our case, as I said before, we are interested in calculating the mean of the variable age. So if we run this, we can then click on the batch aggregation operator and see the results. What we see here is the title, the group size, and the mean age of the group. If we sort the group size column, we can see that there are some differences between the groups. For instance, the mean age of the passenger with the title Mr. is 32, while for the passengers with the title Miss is 21. In the following video, you can check how we can use this new column to replace the missing values of the age feature in the Titanic dataset. Thanks for watching.